Hello. I just fixed a bug. Not the important ones, but I thought I would explain to you this bug and uh, how I fixed it, because it may come up in your own systems. So these pipes, if I were to look at them here in the uh, editor view, you can see that they are a bunch of separate components. And I do do a little bit of optimization in terms of stretching out the, the runs. But by and large, this is a pretty flabby set, uh, a pretty, pretty flabby way of doing things. But where it gets really flabby is that whenever we have to recalculate because you've changed something, uh, I recreate all of this stuff. I, I just say delete all of those game objects and create all new ones. Now, in order to keep the number of memory, uh, sorry, the number of materials in memory low, uh, I, I use one material that uses the vertex colors. And so all of these are colored by their vertex color. They're all just the same material, but different colors. And that means that I actually add vertex colors to the mesh on the fly, uh, which does create a local copy of the mesh. Turns out that never gets deleted. Ever. So when I finally looked at it in the profiler view, uh, the profiler was like, oh, you've got 28,000 objects in the scene, um, or rather in memory. I was like, what? So I'm going to show you how to fix that. If you are having issues where you are deleting meshes or textures that you've created, um, and you're not sure they're actually going away, then what you need to do is you need to use this call here unload unused assets. Now this can bite you in the butt if you're planning on doing some asset juggling, very, you know, certain kinds of asset juggling. But this took me from 2 gigs, pushing 2 gigs down to uh, just a continuous flowing 200 megs. So, um it keeps my mesh count really really low in comparison. Um and I'm hoping that none of you will have any out of memory errors now. Uh, unfortunately, this is not the Linux or Mac bug. So, oh well. Still, one bug down. I just released the updated version so you can go and grab it if you wanted to play it without any memory runout crashes.